Hey guys, welcome to part two of my how to Lego World War II artillery gun episode. Episode one, part two. So when we left off, we had a our little two by one flat grapple connected to our half technic piece. I don't know what the other half is, but those two should go right together and they should rotate like that. But you're wanna, gonna want to keep it flat. Now, this is the part that we built in part one of the episode, and we're going to take this and snap this onto the left side. If you're looking straight at it, so let me get this to your guys' view. If the barrel is facing forward to you, then it's gonna go on the left side. And then you are. Now that you have that, we're going to go on to our ramp piece. It's a two by two, two by one works. And then it's got the little gray piece there so it will tilt. And then you're going to take that nozzle that I talked about earlier, which I still think is a pistol, and you're going to snap it in the top left corner with the short end facing to the right. Then you're going to take our telescope piece and our cone piece, and you're going to snap the small end of the cone into the big end of the telescope, and then snap it onto the short end of the nozzle. So now you have a nice sight. Very nice. And you're going to snap that onto this half of the nozzle piece. Snap that. And then you're just going to take the whole thing, snap it onto the wheels, and you have your World War II German artillery cannon. And I'm going to let you guys get some time to look at this. Um, this is also one of my custom minifigs, just to give you an update on my next episode, my how to make my custom minifigs and some of their custom guns. Um, your sights will move, the barrel will turn, so you can have your slits up or down, I like mine down, and it should roll, unless your pieces are bad, it will roll, and that is how to Lego World War II German artillery gun, so I'm sorry I had to do two separate parts, it wouldn't allow me to upload a longer video, so... Thanks guys, subscribe, like, leave a comment below on what I should do for episode 3. So thank you.